my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we are going to talk back to school prep. I've got five kids. Four of them are now school age this year because Declan is starting kindergarten, but I've done this for many, many years and I have lots of tips and tricks to share with you to make the transition a lot easier for the start of the school year. My kids range everywhere from Tristan this year is entering 10th grade, Aiden is going into 8th, Brianna is going into 5th, and Declan is going into kindergarten. So trust me, I have done this many times over and these things will help you out in the long run when it comes for back to school prep. If that's something you'd be interested in, stick around, hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's jump in. Okay, now I start all my prep within two to three weeks of school going back, and that is right about where we are. The only exception I make to that is one, if I have to schedule any doctor's appointments, like two of my kids need eyeglasses, all the kids need to see their dentist, thanks to everything being locked down, dates kind of got messed up. So if your kids need any doctor's appointments, get all that knocked out earlier in the summer because if you're trying to book one now, it's going to be into the school year. That's just something that you're gonna to have to deal with at that point. But the school should have reminded you when you did sign up at the end of last year if your kids need any shots or their physical records or things like that. So doctor's appointments are out of the way. Oh, and the other thing that I have to do ahead of time is uniform tops. My kids' school requires uniforms from one specific place and they do have the embroidered detail so they do take longer to come in, so I had to order those several weeks ago. But if you're just doing normal uniforms for your kids or back to school clothes, you can still do that now. You can walk into Walmart and get a $5 polo or a $5 pair of khaki shorts for uniforms and you're good on that too. In that two to three week window, I will also start checking dates for Meet the Teacher because sometimes they email you out, sometimes they don't. If you need to, you can look on whatever county you're in, public school, and it will pop up if they've got a Facebook or a website and you can check that for dates. If not, call your kid's specific school and ask them when the Meet the Teacher is and if there's any other information that you need to know, especially if you have a new kindergartner and they haven't called you yet or emailed you. Find out the date. Another thing is the transportation for your child to school and from school, if they're going to be a car rider, bike rider, walker, bus, you name it, that is something you need to go ahead and figure out now so that you can plan accordingly. You need to know the bus schedule. You need to know where the bus stop is. You need to know what time it comes if your child's going to be riding a bus. So again, you can look it up as whatever county, Orange County Public Schools transportation, and it will pull you to that part of their website and it will either go ahead and give you a link to it, a phone number to it, or like mine currently says, not available until August. So we'll be finding out all that information in just a couple weeks. The next thing you're gonna to need to do is go through all of your kids' stuff and see if they have outgrown everything, if they need a new backpack, if they need new shoes, socks, underwear, you name it. You need to go through all of their stuff and make a list of what they need. And I know with me as a kid, my favorite thing was always having that first day of school brand new outfit. I didn't care about the rest of the week. If I got extra outfits that were all brand new, cool. I would do the whole first week, fine but that first day outfit, that is something special to do, and I know I always look forward to that every year, so I do make sure to take like Tristan, he doesn't have uniforms. We're going to get him like three brand new outfits for those first three days of school, just because it's a lot of fun and it makes him feel really special. Plus, I do like to get pieces that can be worked out, so it might be three brand new outfits, but they can all mix and match with themselves or with other stuff he has, so it will go longer term. Shoes and backpacks are one area I will splurge because kids destroy them. And if they have a good quality one, it helps better. Just like their backpacks, they're gonna be putting them on concrete, they're gonna be dragging them around by the bottoms, especially the younger kids. So if their backpack has a reinforced bottom, that is a better way to go and it's less likely to get holes before the second half of the school year. As well as their shoes, if they've got good quality running shoes when they're on the track and playing all their sports and doing PE, it helps them last you longer. So those are two places I do tend to make sure I get a sell on it, but I will splurge on those two items. When it comes to school supply shopping also, if you don't know what you need, most stores will have lists for what each school is asking for and broken down by grade but that will only do you for about elementary school. You may get lucky with middle school. I've never been lucky with middle school on those lists. And then high school, like for my son, we do not know what he needs. We have a very generic base list and we will not find out until his schedule pickup, which we already have the date for that. But you also need to research that again if your school has not contacted you. And we will have to supply shop a little bit later for him 
once we get it that weekend right before school, we're gonna have to do his main supplies. Two more things for that two to three week window time before school starts. One, getting your kids back on their sleep schedule. I know my house, summer, we get free and it's fine. I'm not going to make my kids sit there and still go to bed and wake up every day like it's school time. I'm not gonna do that. But we do have to slowly adjust back. It does take a couple weeks. So right around the two to three weeks before school starts, I will get them back on their set bedtime for school and close to their set wake up for school. The second thing, when kids all get back together after summer and they're all right there in that classroom, a kind of nasty sickness crud hits. Every school year never fails, it's happened all through my kids school year so the best thing i do is i do pump vitamins and some kind of immune boot immune system booster <laughs> there we go every school year at the start and i do keep them on their vitamin but this will go at the end of flu season but i do keep them on some kind of vitamin for all the kids and some kind of immune booster this is elderberry syrup i do have one for the young kids too because this one is for the older two boys and then i have a smaller one that's meant for younger kids for the younger two. But I will do that just to save us from the first two weeks of school where my kids are already out because they've got a cough or they've caught something from all of the germs colliding. Now about a week before school, we're gonna jump into all of the fun stuff, the food and everything like that and how I prep that for my kids. I like to freezer prep breakfast that way it's easy to pop and go. These are just some waffles. I will literally let them cool and freeze them. The kids can pop them in a toaster before school and they've got that. Or we can even do pancakes, pop them in the microwave and they're good. You can batch these out over the weekend very quickly, pop them in the freezer and you have breakfast for the entire week. Lunch, you can also do that ahead of time. You can make Uncrustables. I got this little thing right here off of Amazon and you just make homemade Uncrustables freeze them off like you normally would, throw one in each lunchbox, it's thawed out by lunchtime. Or you can make these little turkey sandwiches, just take an entire thing of Hawaiian rolls, slice it open, put your meat, put your cheese, don't do condiments at this point though, put the whole top back on, cut it into individuals, and put it in your fridge in either one for smaller kids or two sandwiches for bigger kids, and they can just grab them, throw them in their lunchbox, and they're good to go in the morning. When it comes to snacks, I use little pre-packaged ones like this. I keep this basket in the pantry so the kids can just come in, grab one, throw it in their bag, and then snack time is taken care of. Or if they want to throw a piece of this in their lunchbox, they can too. But I have other stuff for that, but at least this handles snack time real easy. These are just in the bags, haven't washed them yet, but I do always have apples they can grab and bananas too if they want to do that for snack as well as a gummy spot and a go-go squeeze spot. These are always full like this too for snack time or lunch time. And then the rest of the cookies, snacks, goldfish. And as school year approaches, I will go ahead and pre-bag these so they can throw them in their lunch box. But I only have one to show you now. They stay like this when it's not school year time. But in about three more weeks, I will have these pre-done so they can just grab them and throw them in their lunchbox. I keep our berries and stuff like that up here and like that one tomato so the produce drawer doesn't hold a lot of that stuff so I use it for school snacks. As you've seen the kids snack drawer, it's got like the string cheese and the yogurt stuff they can grab real fast and easy. Oh, and I will also put like behind it some um, applesauce and things like that once the school year gets here. And then this is kind of like the grab drawer where I'll put the little sandwiches and juice pouches and things like that and I'll only use like one side for produce but this is pretty much all I need so this half also belongs to them. The next topic is lunch boxes. This is Brianna's from the last two years. I got it from Walmart for five dollars. It held up so well and it has a clip so you can just clip it onto the backpack and stuff. I love that thing. And then this is the one that came with Declan's backpack that he got at Christmas time. He'll be using for this year but I'm going to explain how I make these easier for the kids. There is nothing worse than a squish sandwich in my opinion, and I don't like using a whole bunch of plastic bags if I don't have to, so I get something reusable like this. They can either just take their sandwich in one of these and throw it in there with whatever snacks and drinks and stuff like that, or this divided one, they can throw their sandwich in one side, one of their items in the other, put in there, and it still leaves room on top for your drink and some other snacks and stuff, but then these can come home and just be washed. So I do really like these. Both of these came from Target. Another thing when it comes to the lunches, make sure your child can open everything. The Ziploc bags, the containers, whatever you send, your child needs to be open on their own. 
So Ziploc has this little thing at the top and it's the easiest ones I found for Declan that he can open and close back by himself so he doesn't make a mess. They don't have to have these characters on, that's just what my Target had, but if you look for something that helps them open, go for that. He's going into kindergarten this year. He did preschool at home. His teacher did recommend he know how to do all this by himself. So I'm gonna go ahead and have him open this and practice with a bag that's in there, it's empty, and that container that's got the two divide slots, it's in there too, and have him practice opening and closing that by himself. What you need to have your kid do is make sure they can open and close everything on their own without spilling their lunch everywhere. There you go. Okay, and can you open the bag? And Gwen thinks this is funny. And this is what you need to do is just make sure they can open whatever you plan to send with them. Before we stop talking about food, I will say I am one of those extra moms too, that at least the first day, if not the first week, when I do pack my kids' lunches, I do like to make sure I put a little note in there. You can find them all online, just Google, lunchbox notes and you can even find free printables all over the internet you could buy some off of etsy you could buy some off of amazon you could just take a little post-it note and put have a great day i love you mom and put in their lunch it's fantastic it just shows a little bit that you care it makes them really excited when they find it in their lunchbox but you do not have to go the full-blown extra route you can literally just write a cute little note on their napkin or a piece of paper and call it good. That covers all of the tips and tricks for the food related items except for one. My kids get a little traditional treat every year. I throw it in their lunchbox for their first day of school and I give it to them in the car on the last day of school. But that's just these little Smarties candies right here. It's just punny, it's cute. They like them, so this is just a tradition we do in our family. But now let's talk about clothes organization. This is a super, super easy hack to use, and it involves the way that you hang your kids' clothes. Now you could get one of them divided things, it's got like the five holes and put an outfit in each hole, but these are another way to go. These hangers right here that have these hooks, you don't need both hooks. You can literally pop them off and put them on one other hanger, like so, and then you can hang your clothes the pants here, the shirt here, on one hanger, put in their closet, and it will look just like these right here, and you can do it with uniforms, you can do it with non-uniforms, the kids have their pants right there, their top right there, everything is very easy, grab one hanger, get dressed, and you're done. The hangers with the clips on them, I've seen them in the kid size and the adult size, they are sold usually in about a three pack, which means you can get six normal hangers out of it if you're using one clip for each hanger. So one set of three will do you for the entire school week. I like to have a homework station in my house, somewhere where the kids have access to school supplies no matter what. So I have pencils and pens, scissors, glue sticks, markers, paint, color pencils, crayons, extra paper, notebooks, folders, all kinds of extra school supplies right here where the kids can access it for homework or to add to their school supplies if the ones they have at school, they forgot their pencil or their pen, they have them. The last thing I've got for you is day of. Day of is going to be insane. If this is your first time dropping your kid off, it can be a little bit overwhelming, a little bit emotional. Car lines suck. Car lines suck picking your kids up and dropping them off for the first couple days plan a little extra time because I know when I pick my kids up from car line on the first day of school, I'm in that car line that afternoon at least an extra 20 minutes. So just plan for if you are a car rider, that part's going to be rough. If you're one of them extra parents like I am, you guys have seen me, I don't care. My back to school pictures, they're all over on my Instagram, you can go check them out. I have done everything from printing out signs on my computer to literally buying signs in the store. Like this little special one right here. You can find these in Target. I found this in that dollar spot for five bucks. They've got tons of them. You can order them online. They could be as elaborate or as basic as you want. It can literally say their name and the first day of whatever grade they're going in. It has some of them say teacher. Some of them say how many teeth I've got, how much I weigh, my favorite thing, what I wanna be when I grow up. If you wanna go that far, it's all on you, but you can find tons of these all over the internet. If you don't even, you don't have to write on this. I don't write on these. 
I literally hand in my kids, snap the picture, and then I fill it in on the computer before I post the picture. It saves me time, it saves me from having to deal with it, and I still have all of their information on the photo, I just didn't waste my time writing it. I've even gone to the point some years where I have handed them a white piece of paper to hold in front of them and smile, and I have filled that in with an editing app or on my computer with just, you know, what, what school year it was, what day that is, you know, first day of kindergarten, and filled this in. You can just do this. You really, it's simple. If you just want a cute picture and you wanna remember what day of the year it is, you can hold up just a white piece of paper and call it good. But that's all my tips and tricks I've got to help you guys with this school year. I really hope these help you out and make the transition super easy. I've done this more times than I can count now, and I'm still planning on just having a rough day because of my little baby going off to kindergarten. So I'm gonna have the tissues ready, but either way, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be exciting, and these are really gonna save me a lot of time and effort when it comes to getting my kids ready for back to school, so I hope they help you too. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.